St. John the Baptist Parish Church, also known as Kalamba Church. So this church has been a long time historical monument that was established in 1779. Its history, it was in that church where Jose Rizal, the national hero of the Philippines, was baptized in. So that place has a historical significance for the people of the Philippines and that it is still amazing that that place has still survived when it was destroyed at World War II but restored to its good condition. So continuing on, I'll be showing a clip of us introducing ourselves of who we are and then introducing the church we are at and sharing what we know about the church at the time of our arrival. My name is Jim Fonat and this is my partner Dominic De Royen. So here we are at St. John the Baptist Parish Church, other, other known as Kalamba Church. So, so samahan nyo kami at alamin natin ang istorya ng church nyo. So, ang simbahan na to, ginawa to noong 1757. Pero papansin mo, ang tagal na ang church na to, may crack pa siya. Pero, kung makikita nyo sa loob, alagang alagang alaga ang mga tao dito. Church na ito. Maraming patignan. So, while at the church, we interviewed someone who, would, who could give us an answer, share to us his knowledge about the church. And well, it, it was satisfying to hear his answers. Hello sir, we're from MLCN and we're doing a vlog. So we're going to ask you some questions about this Kalamba Church. So what's your name sir? Uh, I'll see John Rio. So ano po yung nalalaman niyo about this? Ang alam ko is, ano, nasira siya nung, uh, nung World War II. Then after nun, na-restored siya. And, Dito rin ang alam na kwento sa ano na dito na nabaptis si Dr. Sensen. Para sa inyo po, nararapat po ba na malaman ng mag-aaral ang kwento nito? Oo, oh, siyempre. Malaking part din ng history ng Pilipinas to. So, dahil dito rin matatagpay yung bahay ng Dr. Sensen. Katabi din din na itong ismo ito. Oh yes sir, do you think that they did a good job of restoring this place? Oh, maayos naman. Tsaka tumagal din yung ginawa nilang pag-restore din sa simba. Like crack lang? Oh, meron, meron niyang crack lang. So, do you think na kailangan ba talaga yung pa-restore itong lugar na to? May kapatan to, pa-restore? Hmm, kasi ano, na dun mas na pa-prevent yung history ng simbahan na to. Kasi kung, kung hindi re-restore yan, parang hindi makikita yung tunay na kung yung ano yung uturan niya dati. Kaya, okay. From our time to do the vlog, we learned history at its finest. The church we went to has a long history of being a part of something we should not forget. How that place is also the place where Jose Rizal got baptized and how it was also destroyed in World War II. Restoring our history and then to share that history once more is something we should not forget and to continue to pass our knowledge to the world. It also includes our interviewee who also agrees that we should not toss away the history of the church and to preserve it more for future generations to appreciate. From the subject, I learned to appreciate history as a whole there's no need for pride of nationalism required, but the part of learning what was before and is now that we should continue to uncover and to relearn our past and pass the judgment to our present in order to be a better person. So that's all. We had fun exploring the church. We looked around over places, talked to people, and well, we learned. In that church, we learned. And knowing its history, I hope that the people could also appreciate its history. Just like how we appreciate its history. The story of St. John Baptist Calamba Church teaches us that even when things get tough, like during World War II, when the church was destroyed, it's important to fix and keep old buildings. This is because this place holds a big part of what we know about our past. The person being interviewed thought fixing the church was a great idea because it helped us understand where we come from. To use this lesson in daily life, 
we should care about old things and have saved them. In work, it's like saying that making old things better can be really important for today and tomorrow. Learning about Philippine history in SS022 changed how I see things. It made me love our country more and understand our past better. Now, I really care about our history and I make it a habit to read and learn about it every day. This class not only affected my school thoughts but also made me value our history in my everyday life.